man, it's been forever since I've been down here. I need to start coming down here more often, you know? It, it sounds better. So I'm in the middle of kind of messing with my truck a little bit. You know, my Colorado, I just made... Uh, so, I have a little DIY I want to do. Um, I am currently messing around with my Colorado, my Chevy Colorado, and kind of personalizing it a little bit. And one of the things that I just did today is I painted the front grill a flat black. And what I wanted to do, my Chevy emblem on the front, the bow tie, right in the middle of the grill, I wanted to get a custom white with like skulls on it and stuff that have like skulls coming out of it, like a 3D type of thing. Well, if you look those up on eBay, there is um, a, a couple on eBay that look really cool, like like really sculpted with skulls coming out of it and stuff. Uh, yeah, they're like $300, $250, $300. So I was like, not in the budget. I'm going to make my own. I have my, my emblem. Can you see that? Straight off the truck. So we're going to start with that. And then there is these decals. I'm pretty sure I got these at AutoZone or one of the parts stores and the, the decals or whatever. Little skulls. It came with two of them. I don't even see that. They have the adhesive on the back, and they're just little skulls. I like the way they look. But they, they also come with little, like, separate crossbones. We're not going to use those. So I'm just using the skull. So what I want to do is I'm going to mount this right in the middle, just like that. Oh, my fingers, my big fat fingers are in the way. So it's going to look like something like that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to have, because there's like a, um, a little crease right down the middle of it and you can see it right there that right there so it has a little bit of a little bit of a hump so it doesn't mount flat on there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to have to sand it a little bit anyways because i'm going to paint it white everything's going to be white then i'm going to go back with my airbrush and do some black detailing like around the eyes and the nose and the teeth so i'm, I'm going to do all that after it's white so i'm going to have to kind of rough it up with some uh sandpaper first I'm gonna have to try to sand out that this little that little uh, crease right down the middle of it right there, just so it mounts a little more flatter. But once it does mount, I'm gonna mount it with a Loctite weld resin, the two-part epoxy. I'm gonna use that, and then I have clear sealant that I'm gonna go around, so it kind of it looks like it's part of the emblem, and then paint over everything. Okay, so now we're in a little bit closer. But as you can see, if I get the light just right, you can see it has a, a crease right down the middle of it. So, so mounting this onto this, it's not gonna be completely flush. Like there's gonna be a little bit of a gap up there at the top, which I think will be all right. So I'm just gonna take <clears throat> some sandpaper. This is uh, 150 grit, kind of, kind of rough it up a little bit so I can paint it. But before I do that, I'm gonna have to try to get this uh, little crease to come out just a little bit so that I can mount this on here flat. Whatever gaps will remain at either the top or the bottom, like, cause you got rocks. Whatever gaps will remain, I'll fill in with this silicone and then paint the whole thing. And that should do it. So I guess the first step is going to be uh, sanding it. All right, let's do it. So after a whole bunch of sanding, you can still see the crease, but it's nowhere as pronounced as it once was. So I was able to get a lot of it sanded off. So I think it's gonna make a much better seal with this thing on there now. So now you can kind of see a little bit better. It will it will have a little bit of gap because I mean the whole th the whole thing is is rounded as you can see from that angle. As it's gonna be able to rock a little bit. Won't be able to. I can't really take the curve out of this unless I like f like plane this whole emblem down to be completely flat. But it's gonna work. 
I'm pretty sure the regular adhesive that's actually on this will probably work just fine. But just in case, I'm going to go ahead and use the, uh, the Loctite two start or two part epoxy just to make sure that it doesn't fall off. It's like a, you can never really do overkill when it's that little of a step. So that's going to look really cool. And this thing's all painted white. Oh yeah, cool. Alrighty, on to the next step. I think that'll probably do it for now I'm gonna let this dry and harden because um, this stuff sets in five minutes it says it sets in five minutes right there but if it sets how long does it take oh it's probably on the package um, which I don't have so just to be safe I'm gonna let it dry overnight because I think it's still yeah there's still a little bit of little bit of movement so we're, we're gonna come back and finish it up after it's done hardening it's gonna look really cool oh yeah Ta -da. <clears throat> all right it's had actually two full days to harden and cure and um, yeah that is pretty solid okay so yeah now the next step is I'm just gonna take some caulk you can see the, the gap right here at the top between the emblem and the skull. Use this clear sealant and go all the way around it. And then that way it'll look like it's solid, like it's coming out of the emblem. With one solid piece. Oh yeah. Here, here's the clear silicone that I use for it and it says it's um, water it can be exposed to water within 30 minutes but it takes a full 24 hours to cure so I think just to be safe we're gonna go ahead and give it the full 24 hours so it's nice and cured before I paint it so I know it's a long tedious thing to have to wait but I want it to be done right the first time. So now we're just going to let this sit and then we'll get to painting it. Oh, yeah, that looks cool. Okay, so um, the paint has dried and this has about three coats on it and I don't like the way it looks something something's wrong I don't the, let me let me zoom in so you can see this so it's got some pitting on it like whenever I sprayed it little little dots started to appear on it there's a good angle right there so it's not smooth and I had to put so many coats on it. It just looks really cakey and thick. And I don't I just don't like the way it looks. Um I think what I did wrong is I used gloss paint, like a high gloss as the base coat. And what I should have done is probably sanded it a little bit better and then did a primer first, like a flat. Pretty much I'm starting over. I'm going to I'm going to try to scrape most of this paint off. I'm going to sand most of it down. Try to get down to the the emblem again, which most of this should peel right off with the razor. Just going to just kind of just go back down to the base and I'm going to put a coat of primer on it first. Then I'm going to paint it, but I'm not going to use this high gloss cuz now that I've actually seen it, I'm not quite a fan. I don't know. It just, it just doesn't I don't I, don't, I, don't, I have matte white i'm gonna use this i think i think i'm gonna like the way it's gonna look better as a as satin 
and then go back with the airbrush to do the detail. And the, at the end of it all, I'm going to clear coat it anyways. So that'll give it a little bit more gloss. Pretty much that's where I'm at now. I'm going to start over. But I'm going to do all this off camera. Pretty much what I'm doing. I'm just sanding it back down to the plastic. And then I'm going to repaint it. It's pretty much start over. And then we'll come back after that's done. And when I'm, I'm going to start the airbrush. So that's the update. Which to you, it's only been a couple seconds since I started. But for me, it's been about three days. Because I just kept putting coat after coat after coat. And I kept caking up on it. So I'm just like, I'm at the point now where I'm just going to start over. And we're going to do it right this time. Okay. Much better. So here it is all done. Look how much, so much better. I actually sanded the whole thing down, back down to the plastic. And I recoated it with a primer and then I painted it with flat white. And now, like, if you try to look at the reflection, it's so much better. So that's how you do it. That looks 10 times better than it did. So now it's time to airbrush. <clears throat> okay, so here we go. Just so uh, I'm using my little airbrush with some black. And just want to make it make it clear that I'm not the best airbrusher. I'm still a, a novice at best, beginner novice. So hopefully I don't mess this up. But here we go. So that will just about do it for the painting part. Now all I got to do, that looks so cool. Look at that. <laughs> that looks freaking sweet. So now I'm just going to put a couple coats of clear coat on it and um, go put it on the truck. And that'll pretty much wrap it up. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is gonna look so good. Oh yeah. Oh, that looks so cool. Oh, I love it. Oh. Okay, before we go, let's take a closer look. Let, let, let's zoom in and look at that. That is sweet. Alrighty, so that'll just about do it. Um, I hope you enjoyed. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the bolts back on off camera. You don't need to watch me do all that crap. I might have to pop this the top off at least so I get my hand back in there and put those bolts on. But uh, yeah, other than that, I love it. So stay tuned because the next project is gonna be, I'm gonna paint my bumper black. So I've already painted the grill black. So now I'm gonna paint the bumper black. Cause I, I'm not a big fan of like the bright shiny chrome so that's the next project coming up pretty soon so I'll holler at you guys later take it easy <laughs>